Hi everyone, it's Christine with Faith in Books. Here's a look at some of our new non-fiction titles that rolled out with our mid-season releases along with other hidden gems. Let's start with Usborne's very first words library. You might be familiar with these two. And now we have Garden at Home and Farm. I love these books, these simple illustrations, and these are durable board books for our littles with new vocabulary they can learn, things to spot, sounds to make all along, lots of fun to be had. If you are hearing, why do I always have to go to bed? Why do I need to go to bed? Well, now there's a book to help answer that. In our very first questions and answers, Lift the Flap series, Why Do I Have to Go to Bed? It'll talk about why sleep is so important to help us grow and how sleep is not just important for us, but animals as well. We have a new title in our Peek Inside series too. This is Peek Inside a Bird's Nest. And this time your learners will get to discover uh, all kinds of bird's nests, how they live. And there's also a QR code at the end of the book that will actually show you the inside of a real bird's nest. We are so excited for this new Animal Magic series. Truly gives you a sense of magic when you see the creatures transform right in front of you. This is in the jungle. We also have in the ocean where you'll meet a puffer fish, a venomous octopus, and so much more. These are gorgeous, fun books. Now we know A is for apple, but what about A is for alpacas? I mean, they have three A's in that word after all. The Usborne Rhyming Alphabet is a gorgeous book. Your readers will learn tons of new vocabulary with each alphabet. Why should I share? This new Lift the Flap will help answer that and help our learners understand how sharing can sometimes be a great thing and why you don't always have to share everything and sharing can help our world. We also have a new questions and answers Lift the Flap book. This one's about feelings. It talks about how you can have more than one feeling at the same time and some what some of the things you can do if maybe you're hearing uh, adults argue this also comes with a feelings wheel at the end which helps open up discussions great for ages five and up we have a new collection of books for learners who want to get a feel for key coding concepts and help with critical thinking check out first steps in coding which will take you through the basics i love how it takes something that can be complex and explains it in a way for our younger learners to understand where are my future engineers we have a new collection that will cover topics from working with energy to machines materials transport such a great collection that will help your kid engineer with hands-on step-by-step projects. Uh, you can get this as a set or separately, perfect for ages nine and up.